Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the motherfucking vlog! Welcome to the 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 vlog! Season 3. Welcome to the vlog! Monday was absolutely jam-packed, so we woke up, had our breakfast, lots of fruit, eggs, and banana crepes, and then we were going on a big tour this day. The first stop was a temple, and we were getting shown some of like the UNESCO water filtration and irrigation. So we walked through this temple, and it was so beautiful. A lot of Bali has influence from Hinduism. A lot of the people there are Hindu, so it was really cool. This one sculpture was made entirely, or decorated entirely from grains and look at how cool it looks and just all the vegetation smells so good like the air is just filled with the scent of all these flowers and then we saw these statues that are used for celebrations it was very cool and then we went to a chocolate factory and it wasn't just any chocolate factory it was a plant-based one and then we drove up to see this view isn't it absolutely gorgeous and then a very unexpected thing happened my mom decided to hold a bunch of different animals this is a little fruit bat yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's all muscle. It's all muscle. <laughs> I still can't believe she did this. I wasn't about to hold the snake, but Anita is very brave. And she also holds this iguana named John. Overall, the animals were just so cute. And then we went to see a waterfall and it was just breathtaking. The whole thing was gorgeous and Zoe even went in. She's so brave because the water was very cold. I think it's good luck to go in though. So hopefully she has lots of good luck from it. We were just very happy to be there. And again, just gorgeous. I, I literally can't believe how pretty it is. And then we went to another temple and we walked around there, saw the views and there was this really beautiful deer animal so cute but like look how red it is and we also saw a baby so adorable and then we had our lunch just a little buffet and then it was time for us to go see a little plantation wow. yeah. okay and this white and red ginger oh Different. that's a red ginger okay yeah, little bit red inside they grew teas and coffees so we got to do a little bit of a tasting and try the lua coffee and then finally we went to see a rice field and it was absolutely gorgeous so we got to walk through it so so special like this whole day was so jam-packed and look at these little kittens they were so cute and then in the evening we went to stay at this coffee plantation and oh my gosh our room was like completely outside and absolutely gorgeous i can't get over how much outdoor space is integrated into all the accommodations and housing that i've been in in bali and we had a delicious dinner but the highlight was actually this cat named lily coming and sitting with me she was too cute and we were very tired so we went to bed the next day i woke up to a beautiful view of the forest saw lily again and they also have so many dogs on this little resort so it was so cute the sunrise was very beautiful we got to see the volcano as well and before breakfast i went back to the room and got to see lily this again is my favorite angel What did you do? Around 7 a.m. we went up for breakfast and I got to see this little grasshopper and look at how pretty the little stones are. Isn't it amazing? The dog was doing a little bit of a chew there and then Lily sat in one of our seats so we had to rearrange the table a little bit and we had a beautiful breakfast and they had the best homemade peanut butter there and I was so sad to say bye to Lily but we had a very exciting day ahead of us. We were actually doing a cooking lesson at a restaurant and before we started we got to eat all these little rice desserts they were so delicious and each one had their own distinct flavor and were filled with coconut or other fruits i was just so impressed with all of it and this was the grill that we were going to be using and the kitchen and these were all the ingredients we used to start we kind of like took one of each and then cut it all up now oh, look at that so cute we cut everything up and then eventually you take all the ingredients you cut up you add a little spice mix into it and then you grind it in a more or a pestle until it becomes a paste and this is essentially the foundation for all the dishes we made we did skewers with different proteins this is a coconut soup that we made and basically we just you know sometimes you add coconut milks and sometimes you would add other oils and you would basically just 
add the protein and then mix it all together. In this one, we added it into a bamboo shoot. We did skewers. We added um, octopus and a bunch of spices into a banana leaf. We made some of the sambals. Like, it was just such a special experience. And before we ate, we had tried some of the restaurant's other food. And then we got to eat the food that we made. And it was just so incredibly delicious. And we were so full when we left the restaurant. We actually ate so so much. And then in the afternoon, we got to go see the bamboo mansions that are in Bali. It is so incredible because you just like can't believe that the whole house is like structurally made from bamboo. You almost have this sense that it's about to crumble apart, or at least I did. But it, it, it is very sturdy. It was just so gorgeous. And again, like so much outdoor space in all of these houses. And you can do it because the temperature is so mild. And then we got to see the eco village where Mark and Arlene are going to be moving soon. And it was so beautiful. And then afterwards, we got home and relaxed, had a little gecko. And then we were too full for dinner. So we just ate a bunch of fruit and dragon fruit is the best fruit on earth in bali in my opinion and of course i got stung on my face two more times wednesday was our last day in Ubud, but before we left we got to do some whitewater river rafting i literally can't believe my mom did this as well after the rafting we drove all the way to uluwatu for our resort that we were going to stay in for two nights and it was absolutely gorgeous after the long drive we got to kind of just relax outside we even went to the pool it was just so nice and then for dinner we went to this place called alchemy it's a vegan restaurant and they have such a gorgeous space i ordered a shakshuka and then zoe and my mom got these protein bowls so it is our last full day in bali tomorrow we leave Eve, but I'm in the best mood right now like I just get to wake up in such warm weather we started our day by having some breakfast some fruit some coffee some eggs it was just all very good and then we were off to Padang Padang Beach which is actually the beach that was featured in the Eat Pray Love very cool and there was a lot of monkeys and we walked down to get to the beach and it was just stunning all white sand and look at all these rocks and the water like I just can't believe how gorgeous literally every part of Bali is, it feels like. We bumped into Mark and Arlene and we all went for lunch together. It was really nice to be able to see them one last time and we had some tacos and then I got home and rested for a little bit and then we went to go to the Uluwatu temple and we had heard rumors that the monkeys there were crazy but we didn't really know how crazy or what to expect and then you know when we got there look at this little guy he's so cute we're like oh okay they're monkeys but they're not that bad right no um we got there and within around the first half an hour this monkey stole my mom's glasses <laughs> In the end, one of the people was able to trade the monkeys some fruit for the glasses back, but other people weren't so lucky. I saw a monkey chewing and completely tearing apart another person's glasses, so yeah, be careful. The monkeys there are some serious business, but then when, anyways, we got to see the dance there. <laughs> That dance was so cool and incredible, and then we just ended our night by going out to eat. What? Friday was the last day in Bali. We were so sad. We woke up, had our last fruit platter and coffee, and then my mom and I explored Uluwatu a little bit. We went out, we checked out some stores, and we ended up going back to Alchemy again for our last meal because it was just so tasty. I got the bowl that Zoe and her got the other day, my mom got a little vegan poke bowl, and then we had to go pack up everything and go to the airport. All things considered, even though it's like 18 hours of travel, everything went very smoothly and I slept for a lot of the plane ride, but I got home and Turner picked us up and then I proceeded to stay up all night. I ended up editing in the morning. My dreams are coming true. Turner and I are going up. <laughs> Turner and I are going on a run together. How do you feel? Feel good. Look at his kicks. Made it feel so awesome. Made us do a quick little warm up and then we were off, which is very exciting.
We're at 1.75. Sun's out. We're doing great. We ended up doing six kilometers and they felt really good. Got home and showered and got to see my grandparents again before Turner and I hung out in the afternoon in Coquitlam. We went out for sushi, went for a walk, and I fell asleep at 8 p.m. I was informed upon waking up that I actually slept in until 10.20, which I haven't done in a while. I went to bed at like 8 p.m., woke up at 11 to go to the washroom, and then came back to bed and fell asleep. I literally never sleep in, so this is kind of fun. Anyway, Turner and I are probably going to go on another run, which is exciting that he's willing to do that again. And should be a good day. Unfortunately, Turner's calves cramped up around 2K into the run and we had to stop, which was sad, but we still got in some good steps. And then in the afternoon, I just went home. And then I just relaxed and edited. In the evening, I was off to Maya and Sam's housewarming party and it was so much fun. I got to see a bunch of Maya's friends and there was so much good food there. It was really fun. I was happy. Hello, I just got back from Maya and Sam's house party and they're living in an absolutely gorgeous apartment. And I was so happy to see them. It is quite late. It is 1.21 a.m. Look at me, no jet lag. I really thought I was gonna crash at some point, but I did not. I am okay, and that's probably because I slept for 14 hours last night. I'm not particularly tired though at the moment, which is kind of concerning, so eh, we'll see what happens. I can't believe I was in Bali three days ago. I'm very grateful for the trip. It was absolutely amazing. It feels surreal that I got to go and experience that, and it was just such a beautiful place. I hope to go back one day. Next week, I guess it's back to just regular life. And hopefully that will still be fun. That's all I really have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.